Joyful, joyful Lord, we adore Thee. God of glory, Lord of light, hearts unfold like flowers before Thee. song I'm singing and I give a shout out next week's review give me the song and um, I was actually singing a particular version uh, you guys tell me what particular version you guys tell me what particular um, what song I was singing and from what particular movie I was singing it from and name at least two of the actresses or two of the actors in that movie. So give me the two actors in that movie. Give me the name of the song and what movie that song came from. Okay? It's pretty easy. It's a classic film. I mean, come on. Come on. So anyway, child. Um... Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. This has kind of like been a break from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta because um, last week it was Jocelyn's um, birthday special with the little baby. Bonnie Bella, she's here. She's adorable and all that good stuff. So let's just begin with the whole um, what happened on this episode, Dollar. I believe this episode 10. Okay. So at first we saw Stevie J. He was walking to the house that he got for all his kids. And um, we see um, the two girls. His oldest daughter's there. And he was just like, look, Bonnie Bella gonna be moving in. They was just like, who? Bonnie? Who? Bella? What? They was just like, look, we ain't got no problem with that little girl being our sister. Because, I mean, it's, she is. I mean, ain't shit we can do about it at this point. But we just got a problem with her mammy. All the stuff her mammy did and everything. I got a cold. That's probably why I sound a little funny. But all the stuff her mammy did, she needs to apologize to me, to us two girls, and Eva for all the shit she done did. And she needs to, you know, apologize to Mimi. Stevie, she was just like, look. Stevie was like, look, all the, I know that Jocelyn done done a whole lot of shit in her life and time. Done see something arrives. Okay, come on. Y'all let me know that song. Um, and. You know, but he was just, he was like, look, he was just kind of coasting over it. He was just like, you know what, I'm just going to chop it up to just Jocelyn being crazy. And the witch is crazy. It's cat shit. But I'm just saying, like, Stevie, I feel like you should respect your daughters. Like, um, they have a say. I mean, Jocelyn done done a whole bunch of shit. And, you know, that whole raping claim was serious. Like, you know... Making it seem like that she was messing around with Eva just because she was mad and all that crazy shit. So, you know, Stevie, he was just like, don't worry about it. Let me take care of it. So we cut to the scene with the baby and um, Tammy. And Tammy, she um, walk a flock in her daughter. I done wore her down. And so she um, going on this whole little um, date with walk a flocker. And so baby comes over. She was just like, child, look. Um... Scrappy ain't shit. I'm sick as people ganging up on me. She, with the whole ganging up on me thing, I kind of understand what she means by that. Because uh, Scrappy's biological father and his stepmother are both uh, marriage counselors. And, you know, if you can remember a few weeks ago um, that 
they had a whole little scene where they was going, you know, having a little marriage counselor counseling moment. Um, and, you know, so Bambi feels like his people is always interfering and butting in and she ain't got nobody on her side, etc. So I can see why she under, why she sees that. And she was just like, you know, Bambi is selfish. Um, Scrappy's selfish. And, you know, he's childish and all this stuff, which I can I believe as well. Because uh, I can just tell he looked like it. Um, and so, you know, they were just going back and forth. And she was just like, look, the wedding is off, engagement off, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, Bambi said something very interesting to me. She was just like, she looked at Tammy and Walker as the ideal couple. So, if they can't make it, then her and Scrappy can't make it. I don't know why the hell she looked at Tammy and Walker as the ideal couple. I mean, not Will and Jada. Not, um... Denzel and um, not Denzel and his wife. I f keep forgetting her name, Denzel's wife. You guys let me know Denzel Washington's Paula. Not Denzel and um, Paula. Uh, not uh, who else? Obama and Michelle. But Walker and Tammy. Ooh, girl. So uh, moving on from that scene, you know, they just hugged it out, had a whole sister girl moment. When Excel, I love it. Okay, so um, they really are friends, and, you know, it's beautiful to see. Now, we move to the next scene. We meet this new guy named Gunplay. Um, yeah, he's a rapper from Miami. He said he's a gangster. My friend Juan um, was telling me about Gunplay, and um, apparently he actually is. So, I mean, I guess congratulations. I don't know how, I don't know how to react to that. But um, good for him, Gunplay. Um, just don't play with guns when you're around me. How about that? We good. Um, what else happened? Uh, they are all there, meaning, um, Gunplay, Scrappy, Stevie J, Young Jock, Young Jock telling all the tea on what happened, you know, with Tommy and Carly and lovely Mimi and Cena and all that shit. It was just like, that's crazy. And they just basically congratulated um, uh, Stevie J on the arrival of Bonnie Bella. Um, one thing that happened actually before we met Gunplay and all the boys um, was a scene with um, Jock. He was at his radio station and you know Treasure P, the stripper, the one of the women who, you know, prides herself on sleeping with married men. She, um, her and Jock had a conversation and we found out that um, Treasure P was the one that told Cena that Jock was messing around with Tommy or was going out on dates with Tommy. And we all know Treasure P and Tommy don't like each other. She said she was going to do it. And if I'm mistaken, I know I'm on sick brain right now, but um, if I'm not mistaken, I thought Treasure P told Jock that she was going to tell Cena. So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. But um, apparently, you know, Jock... Um, you know, he got upset naturally. And he was just like, you know what? I feel like you got talent and all the kind of stuff. And I know you was um being an intern here and all that. But I'm going to let you go, Ma. She was just like, I just don't feel like, I just don't understand why you let me go. Like all your personal shit, like all the ratchet bitches that you deal with. I come in early. I buy you breakfast. What you want? Waffle House? What you want? Denny's? What you want? I hop? What you want? Like, I got you. Like, I don't even know why, like, I even got caught up in this mess. I was just being a friend. That's my sis. That's my friend and all that. I was just doing what I had to do. And Jock was just like, whoa. And I was like, damn. Calm down, Texas. Calm down. Mama was on it. And he was just like, yeah, I'm just got to let you go. Hilarious. Okay. Um, Waka Flock and Tammy, they went on a um, date. It was cute. Um, he showed clips of, you know, their good times and taking pictures. And at the end of the video, he showed um, all his social media information, all the passwords to all his different um, social media. So Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, I'm assuming all of them. Oh, child. And um, so Tammy, she was just like, okay, that's good. You know, he was kind of wearing her down, but she didn't show it. Um, and it was just like, uh... Okay, I mean, you know, he was like, well, I think I need to move back in the house. I think this is a good enough step for me to move back in the house. I'm just like, my nigga, like, chill out. Like, 
All the shit you to go did, and you talking about you finna go back on tour? What is he on tour for? What songs are he performing? How many hits Waka Flocka got? Y'all let me know in the comment section. What? I don't understand this whole thing of going on tour. With what songs? Are you just performing the same songs over and over again just all around the world? And people paying for it? Like, I don't understand. I really need to get some music out there, child. Because apparently all you, need, all you need to succeed is just one hit, child. I mean, hell, Kaya said it when she was talking, when she was um, with her good Judy, um, T.S. Madison, who I love, by the way. Um, I love both of them, actually. Um, but she was talking to T.S. Madison, um, and she was just like, yeah, I've been, um, as long as you got one hit, you can live off that rest of your life, basically is what she said. You can make money and tour, and I was just like, damn. So I guess, child, that's all you need. Um, so I need to get a hit, um. Hit up some producers in Atlanta. Satan. Excuse me, y'all. It's so annoying when you have a cold and the sinus is in the moment, darling. Um, so what else happened? So it's on now. So we got Rashida Tammy and Carly Red. They meet up, have a conversation. Carla Red starts talking about Jocelyn. She had the baby. Um, they worried about Mimi, the girl. So they was just like, you know, this evil sister. So what's T? Have they got into it with Eva and all that kind of stuff? Um, Carly was mad at Tammy. Um, because Tammy got into it with Dime. And, um... Dime and Carly are friends, and also Tammy's friends with Tommy, and Carly don't like Tommy. So, you know, it's just a whole bunch of uh, crazy, silly shit. They also talked about um, Arian and uh, Melissa having sex together and being in a relationship, and, you know, them just not finding out pretty much, but they suspected it that Mimi and Melissa had messed around and had some things. It was just like, what is young lady with the soup coming from all of us saying? Like, you know, some ain't right. Um, so they was arguing, you know, going back and forth, but Tammy, um, she's pretty much cool about the whole situation. She was just like, look, we all grown and we can hang out with who the hell we want to hang out with. And I completely agree with that. Um, you know, we all know who Carly is. Carly's bread is, is whatever. So that, that scene ended with Rashida telling them that, um, they're having some kind of, um, little situation um where uh Rashida invited them to either young jock or scrappy or some somebody was having a little um you know releasing their new songs and this and that it ain't going nowhere but Atlanta chat oh. um oh it's another thing Tommy Tam, I really like Tammy. This is another thing that Tammy said it was funny. She was just like, you know, Carly had it coming. This ain't nothing but her karma with all the shit she done did. Um, Carly messed around with Scrap. So that's why Tommy messed around with Jock. But they didn't actually have sex or nothing. And, you know, Jock even said later on in the episode that he knew that Tommy was just fucking with him just to get back at Carly. He didn't care. So, I mean, I don't know what's the beef. What's the big deal? Like, let it go. Um, Carly, she just beat you at your own game. She just got you back. That's it. Just suck it up and deal with it. You did it to her first. Um, Mama D had this cute scene where um, she's going over to Ernest's house, or Ernest's mama house, um, and she's, you know, upset. Ernest's mama um, came from Florida, and now she's down here in Atlanta. <laughs> mama D came sneaking around the house. I don't know why the hell she moved to this ragged-ass house and came in. And, you know, Mama D is, is just the comedy relief of the show. Along with Carly and Jock. Um, so, it was a funny. Um, she's going in there. She's cussing out Ernest. And, you know, one of her famous lines. If, if your mama uh, fucking you as good as me, we need to have a threesome and all this kind of stuff. And she's just upset and jealous that his mama's down there. But he said, my mama is an older woman. And Mama D was just like, I don't care, yada, yada. So, Ernest and Mama D having, you know, their own issues. Mama D and um, Scrappy, they sat down and had a conversation. They talked about all the tea about Kirk and Rashida. She talked about Ernest and the Bambi. 
all that. And, you know, Mama D has really grown close to the baby throughout the years. And now it's just, you know, unfortunate that, you know, her and Scrappy are not, you know, working it out. Um, so, uh, Mama D told Scrappy that she's going to have a talk with Charlene, Miss Charlene, which is Rashida's mama, about this whole thing with Kurt and the fraternity test. Now, it's just interesting to me. Ain't nobody seen Rod. Ain't nobody seen Jasmine. Ain't nobody seen Kiana. Ain't nobody seen these three people. And I don't know how long. So, I don't know what the hell is going on with the whole baby. They're probably not going to come out to the season finale. Um, so... It's just, it's crazy. How they're stringing the shit along. Scrappy was just like, Ma Dukes, do not go and talk to Miss Charlene. Don't stick your nose in it. So Mama D went on over there to talk to Miss Charlene. Miss Charlene, she was just like, yeah, child, it's a mess, but I got some for Kirk's ass. I was like, oh, Lord, it's going to be a mess. Because, you know, at one point, Rashida, at one point, Miss Charlene and Mama D did not, you know, see eye to eye. They got into it when she came to the salon and laid hay down and Called Rashida the rotten egg and all that shit she does, and so uh, it was just, it was really funny, um, and stupid at the same time. Um, let's see. So we get to Jock and, and Scrappy's um uh, little party. Scrappy performs his new hit song with Bobby Valentino. It's so funny to me. Bobby Valentino has been an extra on Love Hip Hop Atlanta for a few years now, and he's still not a main cast member. And Bobby Valentino has some hits, but uh, apparently Mona don't think he's important to know, enough to put him on the show. Huh? Hilarious. You hear me? Oh, you guys t tell me in the comment section what's your favorite uh, Bobby Valentino song. Uh... So we get to that whole little showcase. Um, Treasure B came in talking to um, Jock. She pulled Jock to the side. She she got on her knees. Damn, they told you I suck your dick, nigga. Um, if you please, would you please, would you please, would you please, would you please hire me back? And he was just like, man, get up off your knees. He was just like, you know what? You screwed up, and I'll you know hire you back. Um, Jock was just like, he was like, I feel like Treasure P didn't have balance in tent. Uh, but I believe she did. And, you know, just going to allow her back and hopefully she don't screw up again. If she do, she, it's over with. Um, so, you know, everything's going good. Tammy and Rashida there, they're talking, having a moment. Stevie J, he brings in, uh, it's Tammy, Rashida, Jock, Scrappy. And all sitting around. And then here comes um Stevie J. He brings his Panamanian princess, his new artist. Um Yeah. So uh we get to back to on stage and we see Mama D on stage and she introduces Miss Charlene. Now Rashida didn't know that her mama was there. So Miss Charlene, she gets out, she was just like, um, uh, and we see Mama D holding the, um a silver tray. And she was just like, this message is for Kurt. I ain't gonna go deep into the shit. But, um, Kurt, you need to do right. You need to get a DNA. This don't make no sense. You is stupid. You got Rashida. And all this kind of stuff. Rashida's just sitting in the background. Just all, just look like she finna cry. She's so embarrassed that her mama been spilling all her tea to all of Atlanta. Um, so, she lifted up the damn tray and it was a DNA test. So they call it out for Kurt, 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 Kurt. Don't nobody know where Kurt, Kurt, Kurt at. Rashida, they asked her Rashida where Kurt at. She's just like, I don't know where Kurt, Kurt, Kurt be. He probably in hide somewhere, child. That was pretty much the end of the episode. So, this episode, there really wasn't much to it. It was boring. It was a filler episode. I wish they really just get to the juice and get to the dirt. Um, for some reason, I feel like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta has kind of lost its momentum a little bit. Uh... But I feel like they're going to pick it back up as the season goes on, so they really need to. Um, next week should be a little bit more interesting, hopefully. But we are just leaving off for the baby special. So anyway, with that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus, follow me at this keys on Instagram, at Twitter, at this keys on 89 on Snapchat. But all the information will be in the bottom bar below, darlings. I love you much, and I'll see you later, child. Look out for my other reviews. All right.